Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for anyone looking to strengthen their financial foundation, understanding and improving your credit score. Whether you're a student, a working professional, or just someone curious about personal finance, this video will provide you with valuable insights to help you navigate the world of credit scores. So let's get started and unravel the mystery of credit scores and see how they can impact your financial health. A credit score in its simplest form is like a financial report card. It's a numerical expression based on an analysis of your credit files, representing your credit worthiness. This score is used by lenders, landlords, and even some employers to gauge how responsibly you handle credit. Think of it as a snapshot of your financial reliability. But what makes up the score? Well, it's a combination of several factors. One is payment history. This is the record of how timely you've been in paying off your debts. It's the most significant component, making up about 35% of your credit score. Late payments, bankruptcies, and defaults are red flags that negatively impact your score. Two, credit utilization. This is all about how much credit you're using compared to what's available to you, making up 30% of your score. It's a measure of how reliant you are on credit. Financial experts often recommend keeping this ratio below to 30% to maintain a healthy score. Three, length of credit history. The longer your history of managing credit well, the better. This counts for 15% of your score. It includes the age of your oldest credit account, the age of your newest credit account, and the average age of all your accounts. Fourth, new credit. Every time you apply for a new line of credit, it can cause a small temporary dip in your score. This aspect contributes to 10% of your score. And finally, fifth, credit mix. This is that diversity of your credit accounts, including credit cards, student loans, car loans, and mortgages. A good mix can positively impact your credit score, and this also makes up about 10% of your score. Understanding these components is the first step in mastering your credit history. A high score can open doors to lower interest rates and better borrowing terms, making it easier and cheaper to borrow money when you need it. On the other hand, a low score can be a hurdle in achieving your financial goals. So why should you care? Because in the financial world, your credit score can be as important as your professional resume. It's a key that can unlock opportunities or place barriers in your path, depending on how well you manage it. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the benefits of a good credit score in our next section. Let's explore why a credit score isn't just a number, but a key player in your financial well-being. A strong credit score can be a gateway to numerous benefits. Firstly, a good score can lead, lead to lower interest rates on loans and credit cards. Think of it this way, the higher your score, the less risky you appear to lenders, and thus the more favorable terms you get. This can save you thousands of dollars over time, especially on long-term loans like mortgages. Secondly, when it comes to renting a home, your credit score can make or break the deal. Many landlords consider your credit score while screening tenants. A good score can not only increase your chances of securing the place you want, but also help you avoid hefty security deposits. Additionally, your credit score can influence your car insurance rates. Some insurance companies use your credit score to help determine your premiums. A better score would mean lower insurance costs, adding up to significant savings over the years. Lastly, a good credit score simplifies the process of getting loans and credit cards. It's not about just getting approved, it's about accessing higher credit limits and better award programs. In a nutshell, a good credit score op opens up a world of financial opportunities and perks that are otherwise hard to come by. Moving on, let's talk about your credit report, the detailed document behind your credit score. Understanding your credit report is crucial as it forms the basis of your credit score. First things first, you're entitled to a free credit report every year from each of the three major credit bureaus. Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. You can request these reports from annualcreditreport.com. It's a good practice to help review your credit report regularly to ensure all the information is accurate and up-to-date. When you receive your report, what should you look for? Your report will contain personal information, credit accounts, credit inquiries, and public records or collections. Pay special attention to the account section, which lists your credit accounts and payment history. Ensure all the accounts listed are yours and the payment history is accurate. Discrepancies in your credit report can adversely affect your score. If you find errors like accounts you don't recognize or inc incorrect payment statuses, it's important to dispute these with the credit bureau. Cleaning up errors can help boost your score significantly. Lastly, understanding your credit report can also help you identify areas for improvement. For instance, if you notice a high credit utilization or a pattern of late payments, you know exactly what to work on to improve your score. Remember, knowledge is power, and in this case, it's the power to improve your financial health. Now let's get into the heart of the matter. How can you build or improve your credit score? This is especially important if you're just starting out or if you're looking to recover from past financial mistakes. First and foremost, start paying your bills on time is like absolutely crucial. Your payment history is the most single most significant factor in your credit score. Even one late payment can negatively impact your score. So set reminders, use auto pay features, 
and just do whatever it takes to pay your bills promptly. Secondly, there's talk about credit utilization. That's the ratio of your credit card balances to your credit limits. Keeping this ratio low is key. A common guideline is to use less than 30% of your available credit. If you're maxing out your cards, it signals financial stress, which can hurt your score. Now, while it may be tempting to apply for every credit card offer that comes your way, be cautious. Applying for multiple credit cards in a short period can suggest financial instability. Instead, apply for new credit sparingly and only as needed. Regularly monitoring your credit is also important. Keep an eye on your credit's report and score. This can help you track your progress and alert you to any potential issues or errors that need to be addressed. For those who are new to credit, consider starting with a secured credit card or becoming an authorized user on someone else's card. These can be effective ways to build credit when managed responsibly. Finally, let's debunk some common myths about credit scores. Understanding these misconceptions is just as important as knowing the facts. First, there's a myth that checking your own credit score will lower it. This is just completely false. Checking your own score is a soft inquiry that has no impact on your credit. In fact, it's a healthy financial habit. Another common misconception is that you need to carry a credit card balance to build credit, which is not true. Paying off your balance in full each month is actually the best strategy. Carrying a balance means you'll pay interest and it could potentially hurt your credit utilization ratio. Some people believe that closing old credit accounts will improve their credit score. In reality, this can actually have the opposite effect. Closing an old account can shorten your credit history and increase your credit utilization ratio, both of which can harm your score. Lastly, it's a myth that you can only have one credit score. The truth is there are multiple scoring models and your score can vary among them. It's important to understand that different lenders may use different scores. But yeah, that's about it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with friends or family who might benefit from this information. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you.